Welcome to RD Fitness. Um, so I just wanted to talk uh, to you guys real quick about um, a video that I've just watched and I'm actually going to link it to this video um, because I think it's very relevant to the things that I've been saying lately with regards to um, investing in your health and why you should invest in your health. And if you don't already invest in your health, perhaps you need to reassess your priorities to change it so that you do invest in your health. Now the video is by a guy called Mike. Um, he is actually an online coach and personal trainer in New York. In this video now, it, it's very powerful. It has a powerful message. It's relevant to what I've been saying and I urge you to watch it. It's about five minutes long. It's immediately after this clip. So uh, do stick around and watch that. And why I think it's relevant is because the message he is sending is that health and fitness isn't just about abs. Um, it's not just about looking phenomenal um, and, and feeling good and performing. Sometimes it can actually be about um, making lives a lot easier, pain-free, stress-free, um, you know, and I think it's important that everybody should be involved in health and fitness. And by starting now, you're less likely going to be one of these statistics later on in life um, where, you know, the statistic could be prevented if you engaged in physical activity, healthy eating, um, and actually were trying to better yourself physically. So watch the video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank One you. of the top reasons why a person checks into assisted living is because they can't get off the toilet. Because they can't do a half rep of a body weight squat to get off the toilet. And so they have to have someone taking care of them. I want to make this video specifically because fitness is marketed towards young people. Fitness is seen as abs and sex and vanity, it's seen on magazine covers, and no one is paying attention to what matters. And that is staying stronger and maintaining lean tissue as you get older and moving around and keeping your diet on point is gonna help you live longer. It's gonna make your life better. I'm not feeding you with bullshit either. This isn't like, I don't want this to be a hypey video. I have trained an 89 year old man in the gym and helped him modify his squat to strengthen his quads and his hamstrings and his butt so that his knees hurt less when he walked, so that he had better lung capacity, so he felt better when he was moving around. This is real. I've trained a 68 year old woman via the internet who over the course of three months lost 12 pounds, gained a tremendous amount of strength, and if she can continue building those habits and continue implementing those habits, she is going to be better for the rest of her life because of it. You have a huge advantage. You also have a huge disadvantage. My advantage is that I'm 28 years old. I have spring in my step. I have youth. I don't have an artificial hip. That's my advantage that you don't have. Your advantage is that you have grit. You were born in a generation that is completely unlike today's generation. Where you have grit, I was given everything on a silver platter. I don't have that hunger. Right? You have that. You've had hardship in your life. You haven't been given things. That creates strength. Diamonds are built under pressure. Like You can do this and you can dig to that like piece of your body and of your soul that you have and put out the effort to make this change. Like The people who are so obsessive about it are chasing abs or chasing a butt or ch like they're 22 year old girls like trying to post stuff on Instagram or they're dudes like us even just trying to get stronger and look better. But that isn't the population where it matters. Where it matters is the 57 year old woman who's postmenopausal and whose metabolic rate is slowing down and who's gaining six pounds of body fat per year and who is going to lose time on the back end of her life. Whether that means dying earlier, like straight up, that's just what's gonna happen. Um, having mobility issues, having strength issues, that is preventable. That is something that three days a week 35 to 40 minutes of strength training, not powerlifting, not Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff, not steroid stuff, not picking up 500 pounds, literally doing what you can. That can be body weight, that can be modified half rep body weight work to keep your muscles and your joints strong. That's 10 extra years. That's 77 to 87 on your own rather than 
having to live in this community that you don't really like. That's why this video has to be made. Because you and me, and getting like lean and posting it on Snapchat, that doesn't matter. The 58 to 97 year old, that matters.